Thanks for joining us, folks. Uh, Courtney Trillo from Counties Monaco Badminton is with me. Courtney, you've had a, a really good year, um, starting off with being part of the Tiger Broker Tigers uh, team in the New Zealand Badminton League. Uh, made it to the final. Unfortunately, the, yep. the final didn't go your way, but you had a, no. a successful time of it and played pretty well, yeah? Yep, yep. It was really good. Uh, probably the peak of my performance this year. Um, it was good having it televised, uh, the short uh, format up to 11, and obviously the prize money, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, but what's it like, um, you know, with, with the event being televised and, and getting a little bit of sort of media attention and that? Does that A, sort of sit well with you, and, and, and B, does it sort of, presumably it helps your profile and, and helps in terms of sponsors and all that sort of stuff, right? Uh, yeah, it's really good. You don't actually notice it when you're on the court, and it's actually good to come home and re-watch it. It like sort of motivates me. Um, the one where we played at Sky City Theatre, that was a little bit more daunting. Um, you know, a week leading up to it, I was really nervous <laughs> just because we're going to have the crowd watching and you could definitely, it was just different. Um, but, yeah, really good. Um, yeah, and obviously I can keep, you know, watch back my performances during lockdown and just keep me motivated <laughs> for when we can come back, go back. When we sort of talk about the structure of your year and and, um, and high performance badminton and that, is, is the New Zealand Badminton League now the the pinnacle? I would think so. Other than maybe nationals, where obviously everyone comes in, um, but yeah, I think it was uh, the television and yeah, I think it was yeah, I think it's like the top, which is really good. All right. So if we move on to some of the other things you've done this year, the Waikato Open was uh, particularly successful for you. You you won the women's doubles and you yep. finished runner-up in the singles. Uh, yep. Just talk us through that tournament and, and how you felt you played and, and what you, you made of your results there. I think the women's doubles is really good. Uh, obviously, it's not my main um, event that I do, um, but it was really good. Uh, the women's singles... I don't think I played very well in the final, but um, Sally Fu, really good player and just hard to beat. So it was it was a good game, but she just got me there. So you, you rank your overall ranking. I think you're number two in the in the country in terms of singles, number three in doubles. Is that right? I think so. Um, I haven't really looked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you should sort of answer my next question because I was going to say, how much do you sort of pay attention to to those rankings uh, and how, how relevant are they? I, do, I think they're based on how many tournaments you do, and I don't know if they're, like, relevant because I know, um, for example, I think I'm ranked higher than Shauna Lee, but she's, like, the top of New Zealand. She's the, you know, she should be number one. I think it depends on how many tournaments you've done and how well you do at them. So she might not enter as many because I think she's still under 19. So, yeah, sort of. I think they're okay-ish. <laughs> What's a, what, what's a sort of normal week look like for you in terms of how often you're on court and that? Outside of lockdown, obviously, we're all sitting at home yeah. at the moment, but outside of uh, lockdown, what, what's a normal week sort of look like for you? Maybe like two to three times a week. A um, couple of trainings at Counties Manukau, um, the Friday night elite squad, which is really good. And then, obviously, we had a Sunday rep training at Counties as well. And then I was also training at um, YTAC, because um, I was competing for their wisdom team. So about three three times a week, which is what the body can handle at this stage. <laughs> so that, that County Spinnacle rep team that you, you're talking about, your rep training, and, and yeah. is that, how, how would you sort of describe that program and, and how it's sort of developed over the last uh, two or three years since AK has been involved? Oh, it's been really good. Um, there were points where we didn't really have uh, div training at all because we'd maybe have it like two weeks leading up or – you know, not not everyone was interested, but AK's really brought in uh, good training, good training structure. Everyone, there's like a good crowd that turns out, which is really good. And, yeah, it's really intense, and I die every time, which is what you want. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, she's obviously there in a, in a GM-type role, um, lending her administration expertise and, and whatnot, and obviously doing a good job of that. But she brings her own personal playing experience as well. How much are you sort of – trying to tap into, you know, her, her playing expertise? Oh, uh, yeah, she definitely knows what she's talking about. Um, for example, there was a game and she just said, you know, she knew exactly what I had to do. Like, she just knows what I have to do and we try 
yeah, she just really, yeah, good at coaching and, you know, motivating me and telling me what I had to do basically, which is really good. I think the last yeah. time we chatted, you're, you're obviously career, very career focused and, and whatnot. I mean, where do you sort of see your your badminton going over the next sort of 12, 18 months? Um, I'm just hoping to get fit. I'm not feeling my fittest at the moment. I don't think um, anyone is, don't worry. <laughs> um, I'm just hoping maybe to actually maybe join the national squad. I don't know, maybe. Because I know that in early next year, the Oceania champs are happening in North Harbour, which I'd be definitely... You know, I want to gear up for that, you know, do well and, yeah. So, yeah, do some training at counties, maybe hopefully maybe join the elite, I mean the national squad, and, yeah, hopefully just train hard and do well at that tournament. Well, I think it was supposed to be this weekend, the, the County Monaco Open. Unfortunately, COVID's um, put, paid to that as it has for, for a lot of a lot of different sporting events. Um, yeah. You know, what, what, is, what does that tournament mean for you? You're running champion. Um, they'll obviously look to reschedule whenever we're yeah. allowed to, to be out of, um, you know, sort of level three or level four. Um, what, what does that sort of mean to you and how, how big a deal is it to, to try when you're, you're home open? Uh, it's, yeah, it's a deal for me because I don't want anyone to beat me on home turf. I mean, you sort of get sort of the different lighting at the different Bampton halls and you know county just feels at home and yeah it's just real good and yeah I don't want anyone to beat me really at, <laughs> on my home <laughs> um so what, what is what's on the agenda for you now through until the early part of next year so I mean aside from hopefully that that being rescheduled the county's county's Monaco open what, what else will you be doing just keeping fit or is it um, I think yeah stuff? just the county's Monaco open some training at counties um, and just general keeping fit, going to the gym, running, um, watching what I eat. Yeah, those sort of things. Okay. And in terms of your Tiger Broker Tigers, uh, likely that you'll be back involved in that again next year? Uh, I don't actually know what's happening with the um, – the was it the league next year? Because Joe Hitchcock, which is the CEO of Hampton New Zealand, he's actually stood down uh, while he's leaving. So I don't – yeah, know what's happening with that next year, whether it will go forward or, yeah, just no clue at this stage. Okay, fingers crossed. Assuming that it does go ahead, I, I presume you'd like to be part of it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> and then and is that league sort of the, the structure of that league working well, do you think? I mean, is that kind of the future of uh, high performance here and trying to, to get a little more profile media and whatnot? Yeah, I think it's really good. I mean, they do the media for the finals at, like, the nationals and stuff. So they're definitely trying to get, you know, the media involved and, yeah, promote the sport, the sport a lot more, which is, I think is good. All right, Courtney. Well, look, we'll appreciate your time. Hopefully, hopefully lockdown's not going to go drag on too much longer. I think we're all um, yeah. getting a little stir crazy now, but yeah. you, you, you're doing well because I think everyone's struggling with their, their diet and uh, and everything at the moment. Oh, yeah. You're stuck at yeah. home. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, we certainly look forward to seeing you back out in action whenever we can uh, reschedule that county's Monaco open. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's great.